Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I'm going to cover my uh, top five favorite applications that I like to use all of the time. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, something I've mentioned in my uh, previous videos is that I like the Cartapio. Uh, menu on my uh, on my uh, panel and uh, here it is right here and I like how it lays out everything nice and neatly and uh, I like how it organizes everything and uh, I like it as an alternative to the menus that come with uh, my operating system that I'm using now which is uh, sort of a hybrid I'm running pin guy OS and uh, here are the menus that it comes with uh, we have the genome menu where uh, everything is uh, nice and neatly organized here but I like the Cardapio layout. And then, of course, the familiar Ubuntu menus right here. And then, of course, with Pinguy OS, it also has the Mint menu. Uh, I thought that was a neat little... Uh, I thought that was kind of neat, too, because you can uh, add favorites, and uh, I like the way it also uh, allows you to... Uh, the way it sorts everything out. Uh, but this one is a little bit more compact for my liking and I'm able to uh, customize what's here and that sort of thing and if this is something you feel you would like to try out you can simply go to https uh, launchpad.net slash cardapio and on there uh, you will see uh, uh, some commands that you can issue to the terminal and you can uh, install this and give it a shot. I really like it. All right, and then uh, next on this roundup is BleachBit. Now, when I was using Windows, there was an application I used to like to use called CCleaner, or what we called Crap Cleaner. And uh, this, is, this program is uh, Linux's answer uh, to that. And uh, I like this program because uh, it does a very nice job of cleaning out browser cache and uh, junk that tends to collect up on the system. And uh, I always run this as root so that I can be sure that everything is cleaned out nicely. And uh, another neat feature of this that I do not have selected is the fact that you can also clean your disk space. That's what this one, this free disk space option is. What it will do is it will actually zero right uh, your, uh, your empty disk space. This is especially handy if you have... Uh, trade secrets or files that you wish to delete and permanently delete them. Uh, very nice program and uh, it's very simple and easy to use. Next we have Pythos. Now uh, if you like to listen to online radio as do I, everybody has come to know uh, the Pandora radio and basically it plays music that is uh, ta tailored to your style. Essentially you just type in the name of your favorite band and they will play music from them as well as as well as play uh, music in that same genre. And it's a great way to discover new music that you haven't realized and I access that through my volume control and here it is, Pythos. And uh, unlike the uh, browser version, it only shows you one song that's playing ahead where this shows you um, looks like uh, four songs and now uh, because of my recording software I'm using it's not recording any of the music on the desktop but I can clearly hear some Iron Maiden playing right now and uh, I love this application um, so if you use Pandora I highly recommend that you download this just simply go to uh, this website and that is kevinmayhall.net slash p slash pythos or you can also google it and you'll find the page quickly and then down here you will see that there are three lines of code that you can issue to the terminal and while we are on the subject of the terminal this is what I use it is Gwake terminal uh, much like the uh, terminals in um, 
first-person shooters. Uh, this became popular when Quake came out. You just pressed a tilde key, and then a terminal would come down where you could issue commands, cheat codes, that sort of thing into your game to change its functionality. And I like this because it's convenient, just one key, and uh, I have a terminal that I can work with. Additionally, it has addition it has a customization features that you won't find in a regular terminal. So if you feel that this is something that you would like to try, and uh, you feel and you use the uh, terminal often, this is a really good option. And uh, I'll quickly show you that uh, under preferences here. Uh, it gives you a lot of options and uh, it's a lot of fun to work with uh, and uh, you know I can you know change the size of it um, and uh, quite an intuitive user experience so um, you can uh, visit G-U-A-K-E dot org that's quake dot org and from there you can uh, download that or you can even check in your repositories and see if it's there and then last but not least uh, I am using the Kazam screencaster now unfortunately this one is not in your software repositories if you're using Ubuntu or one of its derivatives you will actually need to uh, locate this online Mr. Google is your friend this is the first th link that came up at launchpad.net slash kazam and I like this uh, screencaster you may notice in some of my earlier videos I was using desktop recorder and there was a little bit of lag with the audio and the voice and this seems to put it all together better and also uh, the picture quality is fairly sharp and uh, now I lost my train of thought. Don't you hate it when that happens? Uh, oh, and it's ready for upload to YouTube once it's been completed. So uh, there is. So I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to convert the video after I've uh, finished uh, recording my screencast. So that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, eventually, I'll uh, run my uh, webcasts and do maybe some minimal editing, but in the meantime, this works beautifully. So if you want to try that out, uh, information on where to get the PPAs are on the page, and uh, those are my top five favorite applications, uh, so uh, feel free to give them a shot, and uh, happy computing, and uh, we'll see you next time.